You didn't push record. Yeah, that's too scary. Pleasure. 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 Pleasure.
That changed in probably 1970 somewhere. Back when you went back when there was road commission, now you wouldn't charge your summer roads. The Swartman had nothing to say about it. You, you was it. Also, you had all the complaints too. And that's why that changed, because it was easier for three people to come to get through a complaint. There was just one alone. So. How did you learn to do your job? What? How did you learn to do your job? I learned just from, basically I just learned, I never worked on the road a day in my life. When I, well, I worked one winter before I was road commissioner. Then the following May I was elected road commissioner. I never worked on the road a day in my life. I had one older person, Bert Eakley, I worked all his life on, he worked for me. He kind of showed me. I just went along to learn. So, who were some of the people you worked with? Um, Bert Akeley, Charlie Adams, Bill Adams. Oh, uh, who else? Harold Unstead. Um, <coughs> who else? Worked? Oh, Bobby Elliott <laughs> worked with me. <laughs> who were the people who had the job before you began? Uh, Summer Road was Irvin Akeley, was the road commissioner in Summer Road. Then the Winter Road was uh, Swartman and Walter Radcliffe did the plow and sand in the winter. Who took over the job after you retired? Uh, David Elliott, who was the road foreman then. What are some of the ways the job has changed over time? Well, when we started, we had a, a uh, one dump truck, and uh, then we hired the rest of the dump trucks for gravel in the summer, and we had no grader. We had a pole grader, it's a pole behind the truck, and uh, you uh, then we had uh, one guy drive a truck, one guy run the grader, and one and two people behind picking stones. There was no stone rakes, no nothing then. You just pick it through the stone dale. That was it. Um, would you please describe a typical day at work? Well, I'd describe a typical day. Um, in the summer, I would say that uh, we went out, we either scraped roads or we built roads. We had places, we widened the road, up. this road here was about 10 feet wide when I moved in, 57. But we rebuilt them and um, it was all done, a lot of it was done by hand, with hand shovels and so on and so forth, pick and shovels. And it was much a lot more exercise than you get today, believe me. Was it hard in like different seasons? Uh, yeah, it, it changed considerably. Uh, between the, the summer you scraped roads, I say, and, and you built roads. The winter you plowed mostly. Sanding was very low, very low sanding done when I first took mm. over, very low. And the first winter I worked, we hand shoveled the sand into our gravel bank, into the truck, and well spread down the road. Now uh, you can imagine how much we sanded yeah. all day. There was very little sanding done. And it, the plowing was altogether different than it is now. Now it's all high speed. Before you just, you wait till the snowstorm was over and then you went out and plowed, if you could. And um, I've got a couple of pictures in here I'll show you for when you get through, show you what it looked like back then. It was all yeah, different than it is now. What are some of the parts of your job that you liked? Uh, the part that I liked, I think the best, was the rebuilding or building roads in the summertime. I liked that the best. It, it looked like you'd accomplish something when you got done. 
It was me and um, built, so as I say, we widened this road, other roads, but then there were two or three places that completely rebuilt the road, like up above here, up Boyden, the, yeah. the road is nowhere near where it used to be. Yeah. Are there parts of your job that you didn't like? Well, I want too crazy about this blowing snow all and all, you can be in <laughs> stout in a deep somewhere. <laughs> But, however, yeah, no, I can't say there was any job part of it that I didn't really like. I liked it. Yeah. Probably wouldn't stay with it otherwise, but it was, it was a lot different than it is now, that's for sure. Yeah. What do you see as future changes in the job, the road crew? Um, I think eventually, now, it probably be in your lifetime, never will be mine. I think you'll see a lot more black dot and down. And um, I don't know other than that how many changes there will be. I really don't know. It hasn't changed all that much. And, well, it's changed a lot in the last 45, um, well, 50 some odd years now. But <clears throat> I, I really don't know. I don't know if I can answer that one for you, really. Yeah, that's okay. Is there anything else about the work that you'd like to say that I haven't asked you about? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really think of too much, but it's, it's, I, I believe it uh, in the winter time. I believe I've been stuck in every ditch and every road and tell them all road at some time or other. And back then, of course, we had no radios, no nothing. If you got stuck, you got yourself out by shoveling, mostly, or jacking yourself out, up out. I rode off in Hickory Hill up here. I went in probably at <clears throat> 6 o'clock at night. We jacked that truck up out of the ditch. Uh, I think it was, I know it was getting daylight, about 5 o'clock in the morning that we got it back on the road. Wow. But I spent a lot, we spent a lot of time doing something like that. You get stuck. Okay. A lot more than they do today. Yeah. Oh, well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, one thing I'd like to show you mm -hmm. is, uh, <laughs> You've seen pictures of me if you want to, but however, is um, these uh, these aren't real good pictures. I've got better pictures somewhere, but I couldn't find them quick as mine. 1955. That's a oh picture of the snow that we had. That is the deepest snow I wow. ever saw. And yeah, uh, that was. Um, that's a picture of quite it's just actually snow. But mm -hmm. There's one picture here with a truck, both are trucks. Wow. Okay, okay. Right there. Uh, that one there is the first truck we ever owned. Wow. And this is the second truck we ever owned. Mm. That's How long have you had these pictures? How what? How long have you had these pictures? Oh, I took these in 1955. Wow. No, he's died in 53, so we've printed 50 years, and it will be 50 years very shortly this winter. So, I have more pictures, but I just mine right off quick. I couldn't find them. These are good. And I thought I'd just show you what they trucked to look like back then, yeah. and so on and so forth. But. Or more. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, um, I think there's more. But that's really amazing. That's that's actually more of the picture. The one you can see that the snow. Um, I had a drift up on Upper Dover Road. I made I put a mat in the tree, and the next spring was 11 feet deep, and we plowed. That's how deep it used to get from drifting, not from just snow, but it drifted because 
We used to plow at four or five miles an hour. Well, they're going 30 today. So. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're Thank welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm sorry that uh, I understand one person turned you down and I don't understand why. Yeah, that was Rachel. <laughs> yeah. It was her at Rotem, I think. <laughs> I was told about that last night. Yeah, that's got me puzzled. Me. <laughs> Work! Yeah,